This is MMA Outbreak. All right, next fight from UFC Fuel TV 6. It's a competitive one at lightweight this time. It's got to be one of the trickiest lines I had to set to date um, for this card. Mac Danzig is going to open up minus 140. The comeback on Gomi is going to be plus 110. We're going to start off with Damon first. Damon, give me your thoughts and give me your bet. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with Mac Danzig in this fight. You know, listen, Takanori Gomi is uh, seriously heavy-handed. Obviously, we know he has huge knockout power, but the last time Mac Danzig faced a, you know, really dangerous striker and lost was back in 2007 when he lost to Hayato Moksakurai in Pride, and that was obviously quite a few years ago. Since that time, you know, the guys that, that Mac has lost to have really been top lightweights. I mean, you look at Clay Guida, Jim Miller, Matt Wyman. Uh, these are really good, solid lightweights, and I just don't see Gomi being that guy. Gomi's biggest glaring weakness has been his ground game I think I think Danzig has the takedowns and the wrestling to put him there and then on the ground again Gomi can survive but I just don't think Gomi has the acumen to really survive for three rounds with Mac Danzig so I'm going to go with Mac Danzig by submission in this fight okay so Damon is going to go with the slight favor here minus 140 laying the juice it's going to be 700 to win 500 dollars let's throw it over to Larry yeah, look, if this fight happened four or five years ago, Gomi's probably minus 500. But unfortunately for fighters, when the decline happens, it tends to happen pretty quickly. And I think that's what's happened with Gomi. Yeah, if you look back at his record, 33 and 8 overall, you look at all those big wins. But really, since he's gotten to the UFC, losses to Kenny Florian, Clay Guida, and Nate Diaz. And, and not close losses, dominant losses. Then when you look at his wins, Tyson Griffin and Mitsuoka at UFC 144, and Mitsuoka promptly went down to 145 after that fight and got finished in the first round by Nick Lentz. So these are not quality wins for Gomi. I think Danzig is, is much, much better than the two guys that Gomi has beaten. And really, there's only one path to victory for me in this fight for Gomi, and that, of course, is by knockout. Damon talked about his crazy power. I still think he has the power. I just don't get the sense that he's as well-rounded as he needs to be, that his cardio is where it needs to be. And the really bad news for him is that in 40 fights, Mac Danzig has been knocked out one time. And I don't think it's going to happen here. I think Danzig's submission game and his cardio will rule the day. I think he's looked really good in his last couple of fights, and I see him winning this fight pretty convincingly. Okay, so Larry also agrees it's going to be minus 140, 700 to win $500 on Mac Danzig over Takanori Gomi at UFC Fuel TV 6. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. You can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up with the sport books throughout the coming week. And a huge special thanks to our two guests, Larry Pepe and Damon Martin, as always, delivering the goods. Thanks, guys. And make sure you guys check out our website, MMAOddsBreaker.com, if you haven't checked it out. we got a lot of cool gambling-related stuff, material content there for you guys to check out. Also, follow us on Twitter, at MMAOddsBreaker. For Miguel Odorati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.